Good, Good afternoon. A new visit of uh, senior alumnos he is Mr. Cesar Iniguez from Philippines. Welcome back to IUG, to UNESCO IUG nowadays. Cesar, I would like you to introduce yourself and to tell us a little bit where uh, of your position nowadays, what are you doing now, and what do you remember of those times at IUG? Okay, uh, first of all, Maria, thank you very much for arranging uh, these the, the schedules for me to visit the institute. Actually, uh, the reason I'm here is because uh, we're, I'm, we're here to have meetings with Vitens and Vitis in connection with case studies and water operators partnership for UN Habitat. Because we, like uh, IHC is doing, we want to disseminate uh, knowledge on this particular aspect. But I thought that it would be a good opportunity for me to visit IHC because my career, in a way, started with IHE, the discipline where I am now. I think I, I owe a lot to the kind of training, the kind of education I got here, including uh, enjoying my stay here for ten and a half months. It's really part of my life that I will always be there. But uh, going back to 1976-77, that's when I came here to do a course in hydrology, we had a new National Water Resources Council in the Philippines and I was among the first hydrologists and uh, we need people who are trained in hydrology, we don't have the training in the Philippines. So when the opportunity came, they asked me to, they asked if, I, if uh, we could send somebody from our uh, office and I applied for it, I competed for it with other people, uh, with uh, other water institutions in, in the Philippines and luckily I got it. And that's how I started uh, my studies here. I took hydrology and I could still remember the names of my professors. Uh, most of them are gone, but uh, just uh, this, after, uh, this morning I met uh, uh, Mr. Peter Delat, and he was one of the younger faculty at the time. And uh, during our time, it was entirely different. The address is still the same. Uh, it's still connected with Odidel 95. Audi Delft will always be Audi Delft for me, so it's always, I like coming back. Of course, there are new changes here, even since the last time I was here in 2003, to do work also with, the, with IHG on uh, another group of case studies on uh, successful uh, public water utilities, which IHG was doing for the World Bank. A lot of changes, but uh, what I've seen now is uh, a lot of technologies have replaced, uh, I mean, you have laptops now before, we have computers with IBM cards and so on. But uh, the, the funny thing is uh, when, when I came back with, uh, after my hydrology course, I was uh, taken to rural water supply, we set up the rural water supply program in the Philippines, but my training in Delft on the groundwater recovery, Everything on water resources help, has very much, it helped me very much in particular because I was able to put into practice something that I studied which I thought was just a, uh, not the, my main course but eventually it was the one that helped me in uh, developing the rural water supply program, part, being part of the group that did that. Then I moved on from rural water supply and uh, since 20 years ago after I left the UNICEF I went into short-term consultancies and I've been doing still water supply. Maybe I should have taken satar engineering, but on the other hand, the hydrology course helped me a lot. And uh, over the years, I learned a lot about uh, water utilities, urban water supply, but I moved away from the very technical part to performance benchmarking and so on, performance indicators. And that's the reason that, that I'm here now, is because uh, of uh, the case studies that they were doing. Now, the other aspect of uh, my coming here, and uh, I, I told Maria that one of the things that we are interested in is to look at uh, the alumni relations in particular, because in the Philippines, 
Since 1978, we have this Netherlands Fellows Foundation of the Philippines Incorporated, we call it NFFPI. And we are a bunch of uh, alumni from different institutes in the Philippines, from IHC, ISS, ITC, in Enschede, Radio Netherlands, uh, 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 and television course or something. Hilversum. In Hilversum. Yes. And uh, we have existed since 1978, but uh, in many cases, we. There are occasions for us to do some workshops and seminars, some visiting uh, visitors coming in to do something. But still, uh, it's very difficult to g get a diverse group of people to uh, get them all to participate. So that now, what we're tre thinking is uh, to strengthen the in the foundation, is to get uh, to encourage the formation of. Uh, uh, alumni associations from the different institutes and probably have NFFPI just as an umbrella organization. That way, if for example uh, we have a visitor from IHC, it's easier to, to get the uh, IHC group of alumni to attend, to participate, or even to invite. And doing programs that they would like to do uh, in uh, in uh, cooperation with their respective institutes, then it will be structured, it will be much easier. And we felt that uh, with this way, we will be able, we will be able to really help uh, people who have not gone to the Netherlands, not as lucky as us, but still we could uh, uh, try to impart some of the things that we have learned. So, <clears throat> we'll plan, uh, we plan to do that and we hope that uh, we, we, we could uh, interact more with the various alumni officers from the different institutes and uh, disseminate uh, a lot of information about the institutes where we came from. Like I, I was here about uh, 35 years ago, 34 years ago and a lot of things has changed. So when I talk to some of my colleagues or uh, people I know who will be interested at least I could talk to them about uh, new things, like I have seen a lot. And when I go back, I certainly tell them what, uh, that it's a different institute now. But then the fact that there are a number of Filipinos also here at the, at the moment, they could be part of the group that eventually will be helping disseminate new information or even uh, when they go back have some lectures which we can help in some way to to promote or even to organize so I have no doubt that you will have the support of all alumni officers here in Holland and with your enthusiasm we are going to engage the new generations as you want I, I'm sure of that well, we'll uh, our plan also is uh, to get uh, all guys like me who has been there for uh, some time. We turn it over to a new group, and we have a very enthusiastic uh, group. We're an eleven man, a person, eleven person board, and uh, the rest of my board are ladies and very enthusiastic at that. And next week, as I said, we'll we'll have a meeting when I go back. It's a scheduled meeting, and I'll. I'll tell them what uh, I learned here and uh, the possibilities of uh, how to strengthen the alumni association, whether it's the national or, but in, in my case, my particular bias, of course, is always for IHC. And there, I know a lot of people there who are willing to start the ball rolling by organizing IHC. In the same manner that there's a group already organizing the ISS alumni. Mm -hmm. So I have to thank uh, Maria for this opportunity, spending time with me, oh, almost the whole, whole morning, and uh, uh, see, uh, show me the changes and uh, talking about their pro pro programs. And without this visit, I would not have the, those new insights. And uh, probably the visit here is equally important with my original coming yeah. here to, to Delft. And uh, you talk about a lot of uh, yeah update of IHE, but he has talked a lot about memories that you have of all those times, social memories, study memories that they are really really nice. Are you in touch with some alumni of your generation? The well, of course, uh, there are two. One particular guy 
that over the years uh, I have been, been meeting, whether in Manila or in Thailand, when I was uh, tady, taking hydrology, uh, there were four Filipinos in our group and one of them was taking sanitary engineering. And one of his uh, best friends is a Thai named Tos Pontiparos. The Filipino was taking sanitary engineering was Fred Espino, who works with the local water utilities administration. And they were very good friends, even uh, when we were, they were uh, here in Delft. We were staying in Reisbeck. Tospan was staying along Binan Water Slope, and then uh, on the weekends sometimes he would come to us and he drinks a lot, <laughs> and we enjoy. I mean, enjoy it, uh, being together. Tospan would cook for us very spicy food because he's Thai. And uh, over the years, when there are conferences, invariably uh, I would uh, we would see Tospan in Manila, and until about two years ago, uh, I was in Bangkok and. Uh, I was surprised that uh, he was the guest speaker for that conference and uh, we recalled the, all those uh, activities uh, uh, that we had before because he used to come to our place in Rice Bay and sometimes we watch TV, we watch uh, Wimbledon in, this, in his place here at Bidden Watersloot. So, and uh, also for another job that uh, I did for uh, the Stockholm International Water Institute. Uh, they, again, they gathered a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, consultants in different countries, and they showed and uh, they gave us a list of who and the contacts of those persons. And lo and behold, I saw the name of one of my classmates in hydrology, Bernard uh, Cooper, and I communicated with him, and he was equally surprised. But he said he was already retired, maybe because he was working with the bureaucracy. In my case, I don't think I'll be retiring anytime <laughs> soon because I'm a freelance consultant. I like uh, doing the job, I like traveling, I like talking to people. And, that's, and because of that, I had an opportunity to come here because of uh, UN Habitat and the case studies. I cannot forego that opportunity. So I extended my stay here for two days and I think it will be worth it doing, doing that. And I don't regret doing that because just a uh, half, Half of the day this morning and up to last time and up to now, I have learned a lot. That, uh, I mean, much, much more. Met some of the Filipinos here, and maybe when, when we get, when they get back to uh, to the Philippines, uh, we will uh, implement or do some of the things that we have brainstorms of possibilities that we have been uh, discussing since I came this morning. And after this chat, he will start to to explore Delft and to see what is in place after these years. Mr. Cesar Inez, thank you very much for your visit, for all these talks, for all these memories and for this interview to share with the rest of our alumni. Thank you very much. I should thank you and uh, I'm sure we'll be meeting each other again. And, but as we always say with the, with the internet, with the email, we're just one click away. Thank you very much. I hope